This is a selection out of a collection I like to call American Recipes Chocolate Chip Cookies. I have a love of traditional American food. One cup of softened butter, three quarters cup brown sugar, three quarters cup white granulated sugar. Mix it well with a paddle until smooth. Add one large egg, preferably from a pasture-raised free-range hen. I'm adding one teaspoon of maple syrup because I got local maple syrup in New York. You can substitute vanilla for maple syrup if you wish. Mix that together until smooth. One teaspoon of baking soda, two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And you're gonna mix that halfway, then add in the chocolate chips. That way everything comes together all at the same time. Let them chill in the fridge for a minimum of two hours. This helps the cookies stay plump and hold their shape. Preheat oven to 375 degrees. To make your cookies really freaking cute, use a portion scoop for equal sizing. I like to um, flatten them down a little tiny bit. That way I can add my gray sea salt on there. This is celery, AKA gray salt. It's a sustainable salt because it has a higher yield, but you can use any sort of flaky sea salt. Cook for eight to 12 minutes. The key is to cook the cookies until they are just barely puffed up and set. You wanna take them right out of the oven. They will both cool down and dry out. So the edges will get crispy the longer you leave them at room temperature, the middle will stay soft and that way you get that perfect ratio. You can also use lard in this recipe. Instead of butter, just add a tablespoon of salt. The colder the dough, the more color you'll get during cooking because the dough is colder and it cooks slower. Meanwhile, the outside is getting more color. Don't forget to subscribe. Kelly Jones, AKA Shibumi Jones, my online name. Take care, I'm out.